Welcome to Keysight Education Portal. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to generate IEEE 1687 test with X1149. Firstly, we will import both the ICL and PDL libraries. We will start by importing the following files, mbist underscore IP, gpio underscore IP, and lastly, cheap underscore top. Under the Project Explorer tab, click on IEEE 1687 test followed by the library type. Simply click on Import, select the desired files, then click on Open. After importing the relevant files, they will be added under the Library Type tab. Next, we will assign the ICL to the device in the Device list. We will do so by going to the Process Outline tab, Data Preparation, followed by Define Devices. Drag the sub-tab downwards to view all the devices clearly. Slide the horizontal scroll bar to the right on the screen and select Chip Top under ICL. To assign PDLs to the device, we will select the button under PDL. Following that, click on the Transfer button to transfer the files from available PDL libraries to assigned PDL libraries. Click OK and you will see that the PDL has been assigned. Moving forward, we will check the device for 1687 test generation by ticking the box under 1687. It is noted that the chain graphics will highlight 1687 device in green as shown. To conduct test generation, we will have to right-click on the test to hit Generate. Next, we will have to ensure that the boxes under the Generate test are checked. Lastly, click on Generate slash Compile. The standard test interface will reflect the vector cycle, frequency, etc. To assess this test interface, we will go to Project Explorer, select Test, then click on 1687. Lastly, select the desired test name. Staying on the test interface, scroll down to view the custom PDL source. The PDL source from the library that is used to generate this test is contained here. This helps for quick debug of the test whereby the user does not need to make modifications to the PDL file in the library and then go through the whole process of regenerating test. Instead, by making modifications to the PDL file, the library source is automatically saved with the updated source content from the PDL source. This makes the test, debug, and update process easy and quick. Looking under the repair ticket, we can break down the failure repair ticket according to the structure as shown. The top portion will represent the standard X1149 header by the frame details which is used to feedback device vendor, additional frame details and lastly full diagnostics. 